WLKY Weather with Matt Milosevic. Hey, good afternoon to you, everyone. Hopefully, a great day out there that you can get out and enjoy because the weather is very nice. 67 degrees at Louisville International and Bowman Field. A warming southwest wind at 14 miles per hour, continuing to pump in some of that milder weather from 68 in Carrollton, 63 in Elizabethtown, struggling a bit in the cooler 50s right now in Seymour, Indiana, 54, 55 in Paoli. About the only thing wrong with this afternoon weather wise is the high pollen levels, elm, juniper, and maple trees. The bigger pollinators out there right now, but it is indeed the tree pollen. As we head late tonight and into tomorrow, though, chances of showers and storms wash down the pollen for a day, comes back on Friday into the high category. So, allergy sufferers beware, especially today and on Friday. After some early morning showers, we've been much quieter, drier through the late morning and now midday hour. We'll be watching out to the southern plains just over the last few minutes. Some showers and thunderstorms developing through southeastern Kansas, part of a bigger storm system that will evolve as we head through the late afternoon and evening hours into a complex of showers and thunderstorms through south central Missouri and back over into the southern plains uh, that could be producing, boy, high winds. Wind gust, hailstones, even tornadoes out to our west. Now, still a threat of showers and storms holds up tonight by 3 a.m. It's still parked off to our west. With this, I think the bigger concern would be an isolated wind gust, but the better chance is a severe weather where it'll be likely off into the southern plains of Oklahoma, southern Missouri, and along the Arkansas line. It will be a possibility, though, kind of arcing up into the Ohio River Valley for some of those stronger showers and storms. I don't think this is going to be a widespread severe weather event, that's for sure, through tomorrow morning. Just something we'll be monitoring uh, for you through the overnight period. Here we are, 3 a.m. You can see that complex of showers and storms just off to the west. Now, keep in mind, too, we're going to lose the warmth of the day, and that works against thunderstorm development typically, but a lot of wind energy in the atmosphere, and any storms that can hold together will have that threat for an isolated brief wind gust. Otherwise, some heavy downpours, some thunder and lightning, especially uh, as we make our way through the pre-dawn hours on your Thursday. By the time we have sun up and headed towards uh, work tomorrow, still going to be on the damp side with some occasional rain showers that will persist off and on through the day as colder weather builds in. We'll be dropping back into the 40s by the end of the day on Thursday. So with any overnight storms, it'll be scattered in nature. The overall severe threat is low, but it's something to watch. An isolated strong wind gust will be the biggest concern and we'll watch heavy downpours as well but the flood threat unlike the past couple of storm systems with this one looks to be low as you plan the rest of your afternoon breezy and warm enjoy it highs near 74 a little cooler in the 60s to the north watching storms to the west with temperatures near 65 by 10 o'clock that better storm chance is again through the overnight hours and then uh, giving way to just some scattered rain showers by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning we start out at 55 in the morning but fall into the 40s during the day We'll even see some patchy light rain showers Friday, trend towards a couple of flurries Friday night as colder air builds in from 45 Friday afternoon to 25 Saturday morning. We'll be dry for the weekend, but cold Saturday, coming out of it a bit on Sunday and better next week with some milder air. And we'll watch for our next storm chance, but also a 70 degree day by next Wednesday. So a lot of changes, especially the next day or two. But really, those changes keep going on yeah. through the seven day forecast. Sounds great. All yeah. right. Thank you, Matt.